So Tuesday, we actually got some footage of uh, the shots yes. being administered. Yes. I explain to people what exactly was going on and who were getting the shots. Sure. So at that time, we were doing first responders. We were also doing school nurses that are COVID facing. So they're doing testing of students and staff that are, are positive, well, are symptomatic, um, checking to see. So that's COVID direct facing. We were also starting to go to the next tier, which was healthcare workers. Um, the state just um, released that tier to say that we could start vaccinating that population. We have done um, pretty much at this point, all the first responders that have wanted that have received their first vaccine. And starting in the beginning of February, we'll be doing the second uh, dose to complete the series for the first responders. If you watch the news, you know that state officials across the country are disappointed that more vaccines haven't been put into arms. How about here in North Edelburgh? Are you where we thought we'd be at this war? Are we where you, you thought? You know what I mean. <laughs> I, I know exactly what you mean. So I have to say yes, only because um, the state has been giving that information out. Uh, they haven't been able to give us specific timelines and actual weeks. You know, they estimate. So they were estimating, actually they were estimating that phase two might be in the first week of February, second week of February. Maybe we might be there. Um, I actually spoke with somebody at the state yesterday because they were asking how much vaccine would I need in the next couple of weeks? So I gave them the amounts for doing the first responders, healthcare workers. Um, also now we can go and do other non-COVID facing healthcare workers. So your dentists, your physical therapists, occupational therapists. So we're getting numbers for that. Um, we're doing North Attleboro, we're doing Plainville and waiting to hear if Seekonk because we had um, gone together as a consortium for that. How about the, the average 61 year old male who hosts a, a weekly news program? <laughs> so that gentleman, if he has no comorbidities, we are probably not going to see vaccinations until I'm thinking April, May, something like That's that. That's better than I thought. Yeah, uh, I think it depends on how fast we can go through how much vaccine the state actually gets. I mean, they're allotting a lot to the mass vaccination sites because they can vaccinate a lot. And I know we just heard that they're giving some vaccine to the pharmaceutical companies. So um, they have to figure out how much is left also for local groups. Um, they've asked if we're going to be doing public clinics. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to do mass public clinics. Um, for the capacity at the local level, I just think is not there. Um, but I still think we'd be able to do a good amount of phase two. Let's start with the bad news. CDC announced this week that there's a good chance we won't reach herd immunity by the end of this year. Uh, I found that a little discouraging. Yeah, I, I think it's going to depend on the numbers who are, are getting the vaccine, that are taking it, whether it's uh, because of ability to get the vaccine or through choice. It always takes time. Um, you know, look at the flu vaccine, right? We've had that vaccine forever. We have thousands of people who die every year, yet people choose not to get protected for that. So I think it has to do a lot with choice and people's uh, perceived vulnerability. And let's end with what I think is good news. It appears as though the Christmas, New Year's Eve spike, we've, that's in the past. The numbers I see at least reported by the state every day are starting, start, starting to head in the right direction again. Absolutely. We're seeing that at the local level. We're still having 25, 35 cases a day are, is still occurring, which is way more cases than we like to see. But we were having days when we were having, you know, 75 cases or more each day. So our numbers have actually declined a little bit each week. So I have high hopes 
Now, some of it um, we're seeing uh, families, you know, that's where we're seeing some of the biggest group now is that, um, you know, if someone in a family gets it, everybody in the family gets it. So, um, but we're not seeing a lot of um, community spread between other groups. So that's a good thing.